Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of dividing whole numbers and unit fractions with models. This is standard 5.3J in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 12 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have uh, four different models here. We need to find one that best represents one third divided by four. All right, so what does that actually mean? When you have one third and you divide it by four. Well, let's see what each of these look like they represent, right? So let's start with the larger rectangle first. All right, so if I take this larger rectangle, and I'm looking at the large units first. So it does look like I've got one, two, three sections there. And then it looks like we're just taking that bottom section and we're going to divide it into, uh, into smaller sections. All right, so I'll give you that as that's my one third right there. And then what are we doing with this? bottom section. Well, we are dividing it right into fourths and we're taking one section. Okay. So that looks that looks like that might be it. All right. So, I mean, one third divided by four. A looks good. Let's see what we have on B here. Uh, so we kind of have the same thing working here with B, right? So if even though they extend it to all, right? Let's just say that they they wanted to go ahead and uh, divide this into these three big chunks, right? But and you see that they cut all of the chunks into fourths, but they don't just take one fourth of it, right? Looks like they've got like almost three fourths right there. See the difference here is. On A, if we really wanted to, right, we could extend it like this, and you would you would get a sa the same visual for A and B. The problem is how many shades, how many boxes are going to be shaded, and when we divide a fraction by a whole number, we're still just looking at what's that one section, right? So I'm not too sure about B. Uh, I could tell you C is going to be wrong because look, just look at the initial fraction. One, two, three lines means I've got one, two, three, four sections. Yeah, that's one fourth. And then it's still divided by four. So C looks the same as A, except they did one fourth divided by four. So that's a definite no. And then we're going to do the same thing with, well, D actually is wrong both ways. Right, if we're still just kind of using these rows as my big sections, one, two, three, right? So I've got three lines, which means I've got four sections. So that's one fourth. But look, they didn't divide it into fourth, right? They divided it uh, into thirds, but then they divided it by, th by three thirds. Look, they just took that whole bottom row. So it just ends up being one third or one fourth, they, they didn't even change it. Okay, so it's not C or D. So let's say we're still confused about A or B. They both look like one third and they both are broken up into fourths. I just don't know how much I need to shade. Do I need to shade in one or do I need to shade in three? Well, let's look at another way to double check, right? We know that dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. That means dividing by four, is the exact same as multiplying by the reciprocal of four, which is one fourth, right? Because four is really four over one. Any whole number is a fraction if you make it with the denominator of one, you flip it upside down and you inverse, right? So one third divided by four is the same as one third times one fourth multiplying by its reciprocal. And so you are gonna need one twelfth and you see how A shows one twelfth, whereas B shows three-twelfths, which is not what I'm looking for. So my answer is A.